Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we're at the Carberry Sandwich Shop. So here we are, I heard this is the best sandwiches in town, and guess what? We were lucky enough to be invited to try pretty much the whole menu. So that's what we're going to do today. I love food, I'm ready for it, so here my good friend Mr. Scott. We're going to meet up with the owner Brian, which I'll get to tell us a little about the Carberry where it started itself. So if you want a delicious meal, see us enjoy some good food, and a little bit of history beside a local, well, well, well known establishment, tune in. Let's get started. With our owner, Mr. Brian. So Brian, do you kind of want to walk us through uh, a little bit of what we have here for our sandwiches? Sure. Uh, let's start off with the uh, French dip, which we uh, roast our own beef, uh, inside round, triple A, Alberta beef, of course. Um, and we kind of put our own spin to it. And we use the uh, beef drippings from the roast to make our own jus. Woo! Our next sandwich is what's called a Cubano. If you ever watch the movie Chef, um, that's kind of what they were making there. It's um, Moho pork. It's Cuban inspired, but it was actually invented in Miami uh, by the Cuban immigrants. Here we have the mushroom soup. Uh, we put our own spin to it. We call it the Costello Crema Mushroom uh, because of what we actually, it's kind of a secret, but if you know what a Costello is, you might get a hint of what we put in. This is called a buffalo chicken chowder, which is our most popular soup. Um, if you've ever, ever had a really good buffalo chicken wing, uh, we kind of made a soup out of that flavor profile. Uh, right beside it is a Reuben sandwich, so your classic Montreal uh, smoked meat uh, that we get from Montreal that uh, we order through our supplier uh, with sauerkraut, um, Swiss cheese, paprika aioli, and mustard on a marble rye. Over here we have our chicken panini. Uh, now this one here is on focaccia bread, cold roast chicken, caramelized onions, and mango mayonnaise. Delicious. Next we have our godfather, which is a tribute to all the Italians out there. You have salami, capicolo, pepperoni, um, on a ciabatta bun, uh, and it's one of our classic uh, favorites here. Our biggest sandwich is probably what's called a hog heaven. So it's three types of meat inside. You have a porchetta, uh, which we roast in-house. Uh, we have our honey ham and also our apple smoked bacon. Ooh, all in bacon. one sandwich. Delicious. Uh, next, what he has there is a lamb witch. So uh, inside there is a pulled lamb shoulder done in a Greek style uh, roast lamb with uh, chimichurri, sunny feta, which is sun-dried tomato and feta. Uh, and then you have your greens and your tomatoes. Uh, last but not least, we have our Char Su Bon Mi, which is that Chinese barbecue pork that you see hanging from the windows of Chinese restaurants. So we kind of made our own version of that and made a Bon Mi sandwich out of it. So hopefully you enjoy it. I tell you what, this is dang delicious. I can't wait to try it all. I love beef, I love pork. Let's get started. Yeah, for sure. Alright everybody, so now that we have such an excellent introduction to all these sandwiches, uh, I think we might as well start with the uh, Char Su Bon Mi. It's like the delicious sounding Chinese pork sandwich. So I can't wait, I'm so excited for this. It looks so tender, delicious, so. Oh, mm. cheers, cheers. Holy cow, so that barbecue pork is fantastic tasting. So rich, so savory. It was traditional kind of Chinese flavors. The aioli's on here, the sauces, just blend perfectly. And look at that pork. A little bit of that cilantro, got the pickled veggies on there. Man, Ooh, good. What do you think? Yeah, that's delicious. The, uh, the sauce really complements the meat there. And it's nicely uh, toasted bread as well. That was like 10 out of 10. And this is only available on Fridays. So I'm really glad we came it on the Friday here. This is pure perfection. Honestly, we just started off on such a high note. <laughs> well, like, that is so good. Now this, or on a high note, this is a sandwich where people come great distances for. This is a delicious beef French dip. They've had people come from Seattle and Chilliwack, they said, just for this beef dip. So Seattle's about two hours over the border. It's served with a delicious looking au jus, of course, which you can dip that sandwich in. Mm. I'm gonna try it first without the au jus. Oh man, but you can just smell those caramelized onions on there. Mm. 
Their sauces here are just beautiful. They oh. very, yeah. Mm. Right? Holy crap. That was perfection. Okay, the beef is so tender, it's so flavorful. I know they said they roasted it in house here. You get a lovely French dip flavor. Like a, like a French onion soup, kind of. I'll try it in the au jus, although it's perfect the way it is. Oh man. A whole dynamic of just umami, that mouthfeel. Well, two for two, so far. Man, I don't think a sandwich can be, I didn't even know sandwiches could be that good. I mean, just had two, which was literally that good. All right, my brother, where should we start next? I picked the first two, feel free to pick one. Let's go with the Godfather. Godfather, let's do it. Godfather. And respect to all the Italians out there. Nice little, nice soft bun out of there. Looks fantastic. Cheers, cheers. You can really taste the cured meats on there. Very soft, nice bread. You can get the uh, the fresh kind of veggies on there as well. Adds a nice crispness to it. It's got a little bit of fiery kind of little heat in there as well. It's like the capicola. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was delicious. What do you say we go with the uh, what's with the lamb there? The lamb lunch. I'm not sure. I think it's so unique to have like a lamb sandwich. I don't think I've ever actually had a lamb sandwich before. Especially kind of like a Greek style of lamb sandwich. Mm -hmm. uh, I get some hints of feta on there. Supposed to be some, there's a roasted red pepper feta on here as well. It looks delicious. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man. Great flavors on that. You gonna get the feta? We're getting the, a very like Greek, a very Greek tasting, kind of something like a Greek dressing. It perfectly complements that lamb. Lamb's always a pretty general, like, you know, Greek dish. And it very much encapsulated in that sandwich. There's a really nice kind of uh, mustard on there, which is not, it's, it's really adding an interesting dynamic, actually. It's definitely not coming across as like a mustard. It's coming through as delicious. It's got some very unique flavors in there that go really well together. And the lamb is cooked very nicely. And uh, it goes really well on a sandwich, which I wasn't sure if it would, but it goes really nicely. You know, so it's on there, it has chimichurri. Mm. And that's just adding just that, it's like that really fresh dynamic. That was slightly like almost, it's just very fresh. Very very chimichurri, kind of floral, herbal notes. Really compliments that uh, that lamb. How about to the cabana, which is a Cuban sandwich found and made in Miami, interestingly enough. So very interesting history of that sandwich. But you got pork, you got delicious mustard, you got cheese on there, it's, which are all kind of very popular Cuban items, but made in Miami. Cheers, Cheers. my brother. Looks and sounds, smells delicious. It's got my favorite too. That's some nice pickles as well. Pickles, yes. Whoa. Mmm. That's fantastic. Do I dare say those pickles are really good? Dude, it actually is it's, it's <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. The pickles, they got the delicious aioli on there. Man, it goes so well with that pork. This one is cooked really nicely. The bread is nice and soft and moist. Perfectly toasted. Yeah. Mm. You can see the grill marks on there from the medium. Honestly, again, I'm super, super, super well balanced sandwich. It's perfect. Well, all these sandwiches are really done is like encapsulated the menu in a sandwich. That's right. Which is very unique. And honestly, I'm astounded that you can have all that in one bite of the sandwich. Next. How about we try the Reuben? All right. Reuben's one of my favorites. Montreal smoked meat, sauerkraut, got some delicious mustards on there. Served on a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rye bread. Yeah, look at that. Like, just love it, the marbled rye. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, and one of my all-time favorite sandwiches, and I know this will not disappoint. Everything has, so far, been fantastic. Enjoy. 
beautiful richness from that buttered rye. You can tell it's like a real sauerkraut. It has an excellent acidity, kind of that really almost bitterness or tartness. That really nice grain mustard. That rye is fantastic. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Scott? Yeah, that's. I agree with you. The rye's got the nice crisp on the outside and soft and moist on the inside. Delicious. All right, well, unfortunately, we're actually running out of items here. Because um, that was phenomenal. I might have to, I might attempt to get a couple of seconds, to be honest. Yeah, let's go with Hog Heaven. Hog Heaven, yeah. Everything porky and hoggy. And it looks delicious. Absolutely delicious. Man, I just know this is going to be good. Everything with mm -hmm. pork here, everything, well, all the sandwiches, in fact, have just been absolutely delicious. I can see the nice grain mustard. I can see the lovely house aioli they make here. Bacon, yes, mm -hmm. bacon. I love bacon. Let's enjoy this, brother. Okay, holy jumpers, man, that bacon. Oh, so good. It's bacon. It's almost like a, it's almost like a BLT, but like better, a better BLT, better flavor profile. You have the beautiful textures of all different layers of pork. You taste and feel every single one. With the green John, the tomatoes, hallelujah. All right, and last but definitely not least, we have the chicken panini. I love, when I'm having a sandwich, I love focaccia bread. And this is a delicious looking focaccia bread, nice and soft. Just chicken, beautifully grilled. Oh, it smells fantastic. Almost, you got definitely caramelized onions in there, almost like a garlic, Almost, you know, like, just yes. The oregano and the bread, it just, yeah, you can smell. I am ready. Mm. Oh yeah, super soft. It's almost like I'm getting like a little bit, like a hint of like a chicken pasta, like a chicken alfredo kind of thing. And that bread, very floral, herbal. No, I swear, this is like this is like a chicken pasta in a in a in a sandwich. Right? This is delicious. Yeah. But obviously no, there's no noodles. <laughs> That's super good. It's almost creamy aspects to it. It also kind of reminds me of the Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, stuff me. Yeah. Stuff me. That's, That's exactly stuff. what I was That's definitely it, right? There. It's delicious. It's yeah. so good. It's like a Thanksgiving or like chicken dinner. All in one. Yeah, you know when you can't have enough stuffing mm -hmm. and you just go keep going for seconds? That's what this is right here. So last but not least, delicious buffalo chicken and chowder and, oh, excuse me, a Costello crew mushroom soup. With, with some secret ingredients in it. Yeah, so. some secret ingredients which apparently we can't know, but I'm ready to try it. Did you want to try one of these? You want to go for it, Scott? I'm going to go for it. Awesome. Let's go for it. This is going to be delicious. Super creamy, I can tell, just very rich. This is supposed to be your best known chowder, so. Okay, I see where they're coming from. Man, that like, creamy aspect, buffalo chicken, that's impressive. A little bit of heat. Very good notes of, again, just super creamy. I almost got like a cheese. I got cheese that's, aspect. That's what I was wondering too. I kind of got like a nacho -y cheese kind of. Really? Uh, yeah. All right, maybe I'm gonna have to try it, but you can try yeah, that out. Sure. Oh, wow. Oh, oh boy. Right? Dude, that's delicious. I don't know. Okay, talk about rich, talk about a nice cream mushroom soup. That's fantastic. Got the nice texture and the mushroom. Oh, yeah, it does. It has texture. The mushrooms are cooked perfectly. The soup just has this delicious, again, not only creamy, but you get these strong, such strong flavors. If you ever have a cream mushroom soup, imagine that times 10 mm. in the best way possible. That's the best damn cream mushroom soup I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Dude, that thing is fire. <laughs> damn. All right. 10 out 10 would recommend. Scott, what's your favorite sandwich of today? Favorite sandwich? Uh, I can't even pick one. There were so many good ones. Um, I don't know. I like them all, man. Um, what were the first the first two that we had were, were we had the char soup on me. Char soup on me. And yeah. then we had the uh, the beef French dip. 
Yeah, those two I think were probably honestly. Yeah, I think I think those are my favorite. All right, so like one and one. We, we got each get pick favorite, so one and one. Okay. Um, absolutely delicious. Again, the Chester Bar Me is only on Fridays, but I totally recommend that. Then this cream mushroom soup. I swear to God, <laughs> try soup on me, cream mushroom soup, or that freaking beef fresh dip, cream mushroom soup. Yeah. Ten out of ten. I would definitely recommend. Well, with that, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm gonna finish up enjoying this soup. And with that, hope you like this video. Thank you so much, to my friend, Mr. Scott. Thanks for inviting Coming me. Bye. Enjoying yeah. this lovely meal with me. Huge thanks to the Carver for inviting us to try their delicious food, Mr. Brian as well. So, with that, everybody, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry. Of course, happy eating. And do as we do. And yeah, this and time, have some, have some go enjoy yourself some. some go enjoy some delicious yeah, food. That's right. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. So, Mr. Brian, tell us a little about the uh, Carvery Sandwich Shop. Well, it's pretty much. Um, kind of a little bit of my creation as far as taking the sandwich game up a couple of notches, you know. Um, I want to make sure that whatever we put together, you can't just drive down the road and get the same sandwich. Um, yeah, I also came up with the concept of it through my travels throughout the year, throughout the years when I was younger. Uh, I'm a certified Red Seal chef, um, so I went from fine dining to pubs to uh, catering. Uh, and I work kind of all over the place. I traveled, uh, went to Australia, went to Asia, uh, went all over the U.S. And I kind of brought uh, a little bit of something from places that I've been to. Uh, for example, the Cubano uh, is a bit of a creation uh, from uh, back east, uh, Miami type sandwich. Uh, roast lamb, our, our lamb which is practically uh, an influence from the Greek chef that I work under. Um, you have your chicken panini, which is the most of a West Coast thing that I when I worked in California, in Sacramento. Um, then you have uh, roast beef uh, French dip. Uh, it's my favorite sandwich of all time, so I had to make sure that I had the best uh, French dip au, uh, au jus in, in town. Uh, and that comes from my catering side of things, because we used to um, roast uh, beef for, for banquets. And the leftovers, we used to make uh, sandwiches after we've done all the service. We would be hungry and we would make French dip uh, uh, sandwiches and it was awesome. And that's how that came about. And then from there, char siu banh mi, uh, which is the, the, uh, the red Chinese barbecue pork that we do. Um, that's from uh, my younger days of uh, Vancouver when we would uh, go to this restaurant with a hole in the wall and order the uh, char siu on top of rice and I kind of just made a sandwich out of that one. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's the passion of mine to kind of uh, create uh, epic food uh, uh, for people that, that, that I can relate to. Uh, I like comfort food. Um, I came from fine dining, I came from pub uh, style, I came from catering. But I always go back to uh, the people uh, that I kind of like hanging with, which is comfort food. And this is pretty much what it is. Uh, sandwich and soup is pretty much your number one comfort food here in North America.